My name is Mike Harden. I'm the police chief with the City of Modesto. I've been employed at the police department for 26 years. I've been the police chief since uh, February 16th. Prior to that, I was the assistant police chief under Chief Wadden for about six years and uh, started my career at the Modesto Police Department uh, as a police officer up through the ranks through uh, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, assistant chief. And even before that, I was an explorer scout at uh, the Modesto Police Department when I was in high school. About 1977, 78, I uh, got exposed to the Explorer program, came down to the Modesto Police Department, and had the fortunate experience of uh, seeing law enforcement firsthand, if you will, and uh, it immediately hooked me. I thought it was a terrific, terrific opportunity, a terrific career opportunity, and from that moment on, I dedicated myself and my studies to wanting to be a police officer and got hired at uh, 21 years old by Chief McKenzie, and I've worked at the Modesto Police Department ever since. So, full time, about 26 years, and uh, but been running around the police department for almost 30, if you count my explorer time. All right, great. And, uh, and now, uh, what's the process that you've gone through over the last year or so, becoming police chief, and who's who's your boss? Like, okay. who, how did that? Well, uh, as I said, I was uh, Chief Wadden's assistant police chief uh, for almost six years. And in that capacity, I was responsible for four captains reporting to me, responsible for the day-to-day -day, uh, operations of the police department, um, what we were doing, how we were doing it, what's new. I was responsible for budget, uh, invoicing, uh, many of the financial aspects of running the police department as the assistant police chief. Um, when Chief Wadden uh, resigned to go to uh, the Turlock, uh, city of Turlock as a city manager, I was appointed as the interim police chief. Uh, Mr. Nyhoff, the city of Modesto city manager, appointed me as the interim police chief to run the police department. It was an opportunity for Mr. Nyhoff to get to know me and for me to get to know him and work a little more close uh, with uh, the city council members and so on and so forth. And so we stayed in that arrangement for about, uh, about eight months, nine months. And then uh, Mr. Nyhoff and I started talking about the possibility of being named as the full-time police chief. And that happened in February. And of course, I was sworn in officially as the police chief on uh, March 9th. Um, so uh, I report directly to Mr. Nyhoff, the city manager. I work, I work for him. Uh, and uh, of course, I work for the entire community as well, because as the police chief, I'm responsible for setting the vision uh, for the police department and setting policy in terms of uh, uh, enforcement and priorities and those kinds of things. But, but my boss is the city manager, Mr. Greg Nyhoff. All right. All right. And then. Um, is there, as, as police chief now, uh, do you see yourself bringing any changes to the police department? Is there anything that you would like to enact that, that hasn't been enacted before? Well, unfortunately, the uh, economic crisis that we find ourselves in uh, has forced us to make a number of changes at the police department. Um, you know, as I talk to people in the community, they're still worried about drugs, they're still worried about gangs, they're still worried about traffic issues within their respective neighborhoods. Um, so. Um, First and foremost, we've placed a priority, a premium, if you will, on trying to reduce crime in Modesto, violent crime specifically. And so uh, in September, we reorganized the department, we re remissioned some of the special groups, and we've put a full court press, an emphasis on reducing crime in everything we do. It will serve as the platform, as the basis for everything we do. So all of our staffing decisions, all of our priorities in terms of uh, uh, expenditure of money, um, the use of overtime, um, those kinds of things are always going to be uh, centered around reducing crime, first and foremost. I want to see uh, a safer Modesto, uh, a better Modesto, a stronger Modesto, and I think we can get there through reducing crime, you know, one person at a time, one block at a time, one neighborhood at a time. So first and foremost, it's all about reducing crime. But the economy has forced us to make some very, very difficult staffing decisions. We have 37 fewer officers today than I had three years ago. I have 20 fewer uh, uh, support personnel positions that support the officers, whether it be the front office and the records, or a community service officer, or a property and evidence specialist, or an animal control specialist. And so, and those all speak to quality of life issues. So, uh, we have to acknowledge first and foremost that we're doing the same level of work, delivering the same level of customer service with 57 fewer full-time personnel. And unfortunately, the economy has forced us to realize that we may have to continue in this pattern for uh, some more time. So, we're busy uh, preparing the budget now. and. There's a real possibility that we will lose more positions, both in the sworn and civilian classification. So it's becoming increasingly more difficult to reduce crime, uh, meet the, the demands of a, of a very diverse community, 
who has an expectation of their police department. We want to meet or exceed that expectation, but it's becoming increasingly difficult. But I'm not into making excuses. I'm not into whining. Uh, we're just going to try to trying to find a way to work hard every single day to improve upon the quality of life. So the long answer is it's getting more difficult to, to deliver that level of service with fewer personnel, but, uh, but we're committed to trying to make our city as safe as humanly possible. The fact is, is we're going to have to find a different way to do business in, in law enforcement. Um, we may not uh, have a full-time traffic unit that operates 365 days a year. Perhaps we only have a traffic unit that operates six months out of the year. And what's uh, previously when a detective was assigned to investigate nothing but property crimes, maybe he has to investigate or she has to investigate property crimes and also crimes against persons. And we may have to um, look at different work schedules and different different uh, deployment strategies to meet the demands of our community. So everything's in play. It's uh, it's very very much in flux, if you will, in terms of where we're at as a as a city, as a community, as a state, as a nation, with diminished revenues. So we're um, we're going to keep. Uh, protecting our city as best we can, but uh, we have to acknowledge that we're going to we're going to protect it with potentially fewer officers. But we're committed to doing as best we can. Do you see uh, technology helping out on that? Is there going to be maybe more online reporting of stuff? And well, we're always going to look at technology to to be used as a force multiplier. If I can bring on or acquire technology that will make officers in, in the field more um, efficient, uh, make us more responsive to the community. Uh, allow us to deploy those resources uh, that are diminished more effectively. We're always going to look at technology. I'm, I'm a firm believer that um, that you know, we might have to spend a little to save a little, if you will. Um, but yes, your answer is we're presently bringing on a new records management system that we hope to have online uh, ready to go uh, sometime this fall. And uh, with that new records management system, we'll, we'll have to come online with an online crime reporting. We do not have the resources any longer to uh, dispatch to cold burglaries, cold vandalisms. When I say cold, I mean where there's a, a very low probability of solving it. There's not a lot of physical evidence. There's no witnesses uh, that will assist in the investigation to lead to a successful investigation. So uh, the person's mainly reporting for insurance purposes or something along those lines. And so we are going to have to direct citizens to an online crime reporting ability where they can report, we can document, we can catalog it, we can track it, we can return some of the property if it's if it's uh, located, but you know, it doesn't require a dispatched officer to go to that scene and be tied up for an hour or two hours, um, which is what we've traditionally done, and we may have to look at a different way of doing business. Perhaps there's a self-reporting component by citizens who can go online and report. We don't have to dispatch that officer. That allows the officer to do other more pressing things that are of an urgent nature in our community, things that are an absolute immediate threat to public safety. So we're always going to look at the technology spectrum across the board to, as, a, as a way that we can improve upon our delivery of service to the community. Yes. Thank you.